you want to guess what we're going to be making? I've never made this before. I'm going to give you two ingredients and you can guess. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, also, do you want to see what I did to one of my spatulas? How did I do that? <laughs> um, yes, this one is already half gone, but just because I've just been eating it with a spoon the last few days, so. <laughs> oh, a big bite. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, do you want to guess what we're going to be making? I've never made this before. I'm going to give you two ingredients and you can guess. We are going to be making a pancake cake. How have I never made that before? I'm 37 years old. How have I never put cake frosting on pancakes before? That makes no sense to me. But regardless, in today's video, we're going to do that. I'm going to make a pancake cake. So basically, I'm just going to make some pancakes, let them cool down a little bit, and then put some frosting and some sprinkles on them and just see what it tastes like. So yeah, let me like get you situated so you can see me cooking. And then um, I'm excited. Also, yes, this is absolutely a dessert, but also I'm eating it at 5 p.m. and I didn't eat dinner. So I think I'm having a pancake cake for dinner. <laughs> okay, I'm putting the stove on like low, low, medium. And I don't know about you, but when I make pancake mix, I do not measure at all. I just don't. <laughs> I just mix it until it's like a correct consistency. So I have the Live G Free gluten-free pancake mix. I guess you can also bake with it and make biscuits and stuff, but I've only ever made pancakes from this. This I get from Aldi. And I have a lot of food allergies, gluten, dairy, nuts, a bunch of stuff. And at least for me, this is safe. And so, I am just going to use this. I have organic eggs because it calls for one egg. And then I have my coconut milk. So delicious, dairy-free, unsweetened coconut milk. And then I'm also gonna add a little bit of vanilla in there because these are very, very bland on their own. Normally I eat them with my dairy-free fake butter and syrup, but by themselves they're very, very bland. And so I think to make it a little bit more like a cake, I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of vanilla. And then also this does say to use an egg and a little bit of oil. And so I'm just gonna use some olive oil. But yeah, I don't actually measure it. I just, uh, I just guess. I don't even measure the olive oil. Just a little, mix it up. Let's see what the consistency is. Should I get on this side so I'm not blocking it? Okay, definitely needs more milk. Okay, a little bit more milk and now I'll add the vanilla. This is the McCormick brand and it says gluten-free right on it. Okay. How much? Was that good? Maybe? Should I have used a bigger bowl? Perhaps. Okay. Looking good to me. Get some of the lumps out. Oh, was that angle bad this whole time? I don't know, sorry. <laughs> Do you guys remember like six months ago when I got these new pans from TJ Maxx or something and I was obsessed? I was so excited. They worked so well. Yeah, I hate them now. <laughs> That like non-stick ceramic, whatever was on them did not last long. I probably need to just make the switch to a stainless steel pan. Anyway, okay, so that's on like medium low-ish. I don't put oil or butter or anything down when I make pancakes. Oh, also, do you wanna see what I did to one of my spatulas? How did I do that? <laughs> It happened when I was making bacon and I like my bacon really crispy. So like I press it down and I guess this spatula just couldn't handle it. Isn't that wild? It's like really hard. Like you can't pop them or anything. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, I'm not gonna use that obviously. I'm gonna use this one that is still intact. Oh, that one came out like trash. <laughs> I think we need to try this one. Just a bite of it to see if the vanilla is there. That's hot, Katie. <laughs> no, cannot taste the vanilla at all. Really, that mix by itself does not really taste like anything. It's very, very bland and it's not sweet at all, by the way. I'm gonna put more vanilla in here. I'm not moving the camera, but I'm just putting more vanilla. What if I add a little sugar? Would that mess it up? I'm not gonna do that. The frosting will be enough. I'm just eating that pancake as an appetizer. Okay, all right, see, look, the nonstick is working now. 
All right, that one came out pretty good. Uh-oh, I think I burnt this one. Oh, okay, no. It was almost burning, but no, we're good. And when I take them off the pan and put them on the plate, I'm not gonna stack them because if I separate them, they'll cool down quicker. And I want them to be a little cool so that the frosting doesn't melt. Okay, one more pancake. I had enough for like one and a small one. <laughs> so this will actually be kind of like a four layer cake. That's fancy, I'm excited. <laughs> <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. How did I do that? <laughs> How did I do that? How did I make such a mistake? Come on, come on, you can do it. I believe in you so much, you can do it. Okay, well, uh, you know, it mostly got there. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. The other day when I made pancakes, I flipped one right out of the pan. It like landed over here, like next to the pan. That was very funny. Okay, that little piece over there is just gonna be, I'm just gonna eat that, just a little bite. But the rest of the pancake's actually okay. Okay, last mini-ish pancake. Oh, it actually might not be much smaller than the others. Okay, so the pancakes, are cooled enough. And so I'm just gonna be adding some Pillsbury vanilla frosting. This is gluten-free and dairy-free. Not all frostings are gluten-free and dairy-free, so totally check if you have allergies. I'm Obviously, if you have allergies, check everything. But this one, I know that I can eat. And by the way, um, yes, this one is already half gone, but just because I've just been eating it with a spoon the last few days, so. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's zoom out a tiny bit, okay. I don't know why this feels so weird. Gonna go to the edge, obviously. I'm thinking a thin layer on each solely because of how thin the pancake is and because we're doing four layers, so. Okay, there's the first one, stacking on the second one. <laughs> I didn't see this anywhere, by the way. I just was buying pancake mix the other day and I also was buying frosting because I wanted to make a cake and then I just had the idea in my head. But I'm sure thousands of people have done this, but I just like randomly thought about it last week and really wanted to make it. Okay, third layer, that's missing a tiny piece. And then I guess I can just put the fourth layer right on top and frost it on there. I'm gonna clean the plate. I'm gonna make this look pretty. I mean, <laughs> as pretty as I can make it as um, you know, the most amateur chef in the world. Obviously I'm not putting butter on here. I'm not putting syrup or anything. I just wanted to try it with the frosting. Okay, are we putting sprinkles on here? I think we are. This is from an old, uh, not old, but like from a couple months ago when I made a funfetti cake and I just didn't put the sprinkles on it. You guys, look at that. How beautiful. Okay, we have to try this. Okay, here's my dessert dinner. It's not my birthday or anything. <laughs> I just uh, really needed to make a pancake cake. Okay, this is gonna be good, right? Like, I don't think there's a way it's gonna be bad. It might just be like a once a year dessert that I make, maybe. I was gonna try to angle it so you could see me like cutting it too, but the camera didn't wanna cooperate. Let's see if we can just do this. No, just, I'm just gonna cut a piece. <laughs> Thank you, God, for my food. In Jesus' name, amen. Cheers. Mm. Oh, a big bite.
It's been like 20 minutes, hold on. My jaw is literally starting to hurt. That's how long I've been chewing. Okay, so like I said earlier, this particular brand of gluten-free pancakes does not really have a lot of flavor. It's very, very bland. And even with the added vanilla, the flavor is still very bland. I probably needed to add more, but the flavor is still really bland. So it's kind of just like the texture of a pancake with frosting on it. So it tastes good, but it's so interesting because I think that my mouth and my brain are expecting the texture of a cake because I'm tasting frosting mixed with some sort of carb. But instead of getting cake, I'm getting pancakes. It's very interesting. I highly recommend trying this. And I'm sure with like regular pancakes, it would probably taste even better. Cause again, this is just bland. So it's bland with a lot of sugary frosting on it. Okay, I've had about half of it. It tastes good. It's not as good as a cake and it's not as good as pancakes with maple syrup, but it's still good. It's such an interesting thing to eat because it's like opposite of what my brain thinks it's supposed to be. <laughs> And so like now I need to know if you've had this before. Please let me know in the comments. Please let me know your thoughts because I feel like my review of this is so confusing because I don't really know what I think. I think it's good, but do I love it? I don't know, I don't think so, but I'm confused. I think I'm just really, really confused. So please let me know if you've had this or if you wanna go make it right now and then please let me know if you like it or not. Cause I think it's just confusing my brain, <laughs> but it's good, it tastes good. Obviously it's pancakes and frosting. Obviously it was not gonna taste bad. It was more just like, is this gonna be a new favorite of mine or is it just good? And I think it's, I think it's just good. But again, I think it's just because the pancakes are so bland. They're good, I like the texture. I really like the texture of the pancakes, but they're bland. And so maybe I need to figure out how to like add another couple ingredients to make them less bland. I don't know, but now I'm talking too much. I've been explaining this for way too long. There's definitely food on my face, I can feel it. So I think that's just gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I made a pancake cake. <laughs> you guys, they're called pancakes, pancakes. They're called cakes. Why are we not all naturally putting frosting on them? I just had to try it, I had to try it. And it came out good. Is it my favorite thing? No, but it came out good. Pancakes, cakes need frosting. Anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed. I really hope that you're subscribed. I do talk about food on Sundays and then I vlog throughout the week. And yeah, I guess it's gonna be it. Thanks again and I hope you have a wonderful day. I love you, Jesus loves you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.